Pluto, the dwarf planet located in the Kuiper Belt, is a mysterious and distant world that continues to captivate the imagination of scientists and the public alike. It is the second closest dwarf planet to the Sun and the smallest known dwarf planet in our solar system. With a surface that is thought to be mostly made of frozen nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide, Pluto offers a glimpse into the outer reaches of our solar system and the processes that have shaped it. Despite its small size and far-off location, Pluto's discovery in 1930 by Clyde Tombaugh and the recent flyby of the New Horizons spacecraft in 2015 have greatly expanded our understanding of this distant world and its place in the solar system. There happen to be several reasons why Pluto happens to be no longer considered an existing planet inside of the solar system. These reasons happen to be based on top of scientific evidence as well as definitions that belongs to what constitutes an existing planet. Here happen to be the top 10 reasons why Pluto happens to be not an existing planet. Pluto happens to be small as well as has an existing significantly different composition than the other planets. Pluto is much smaller than the other planets inside the solar system with an existing diameter that happens to be only about two-thirds that belongs to Earth's moon. It is also composed chiefly that belongs to rock as well as ice, which is very different from that was by the gas giants as well as terrestrial planets. Pluto has an existing highly eccentric as well as inclined orbit. Pluto's orbit happens to be much more elongated as well as inclined than the other planets. It happens to be also much farther than was by the Sun as well as takes 248.09 Earth years to complete one orbit. This means that it spends much that belongs to its time inside of the outer reaches that belongs to the solar system and is not always considered a part that belongs to the central planetary system. Pluto has an existing number that belongs to moons as well as an existing faint ring system. Pluto has at least five moons, which is more than any known dwarf planet. It also has an existing faint ring system, which happens to be made up of tiny particles that belong to ice and dust. These characteristics are more similar to those that belong to an existing small solar system body, such during the same time that an existing comet or asteroid than a current planet. The definition that belongs to an existing planet happened to be changed to exclude Pluto. One reason why Pluto is not considered a planet is because it does not meet the third criterion set by the International Astronomical Union for an object to be classified as a planet. This criterion states that a planet must have cleared its orbit of other objects. Since Pluto shares its orbit with other objects in the Kuiper Belt, it is not considered a planet, meaning that it must exist as a dominant object inside of its orbit as well as not exist as accompanied by other objects. There happen to be other objects inside of the solar system that happen to be similar to Pluto. Since the discovery that belongs to Pluto inside of 1930, many other small, icy objects have been found inside of the outer reaches that belongs to the solar system. These objects, which are similar in size and composition to Pluto, are now classified during the same time as dwarf planets. There happen to be currently five recognized dwarf planets inside of the solar system. Pluto, Eris, Haumea, Makemake, as well as Ceres. Pluto's size happens to be not consistent with that that belongs to the other planets. The other planets inside the solar system range in size from relatively small rocky planets such as Earth to massive gas giants such as Jupiter as well as Saturn. Pluto happens to be much smaller than any that belongs to the other planets with an existing diameter that happens to be only about two-thirds that belongs to Earth's moon. This size difference suggests that Pluto may have formed differently than the other planets and may not exist as an existing faithful member that belongs to the planetary family. Pluto's composition happens to be different that was by that that belongs to the other planets. Pluto happens to be composed mainly that belongs to rock as well as ice, which happens to be very different from that was by the gas giants as well as terrestrial planets. This difference in composition suggests that Pluto may have formed inside of an existing different location inside of the solar system than the other planets, or that it may exist as an existing captured object that was outside the solar system. Pluto has an existing highly elliptical orbit. 
Pluto's orbit is much more elongated and inclined than the orbits that belong to the other planets. It happens to be also much farther than was by the Sun, as well as takes 248.09 Earth years to complete one orbit. This means that it spends much that belongs to its time inside of the outer reaches that belongs to the solar system, as well as happens to be not always considered a part that belongs to the main planetary system. The discovery that belongs to other small, icy objects inside of the outer solar system has called into question the uniqueness that belongs to Pluto. Since the discovery that belongs to Pluto in 1930, many other small, icy objects have been found inside the outer reaches that belong to the solar system. These objects, which happen to be similar inside of size as well as composition to Pluto, happen to be now classified during the same time that dwarf planets. The existence that belongs to these other dwarf planets has called into question the uniqueness that belongs to Pluto as well as has led some to question whether it should exist as considered an existing planet at every single one. The definition that belonging to an existing planet has changed over time. The classification that belongs to celestial bodies during the same time that planets have changed over time and our understanding of belonging to the solar system has evolved. That is going to belong to example. The ancient Greeks recognized only five planets, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. It happened to be not until the discovery that it belonged to Uranus in 1781, as well as Neptune in 1846, that the number that belongs to recognized planets increased. With the discovery of Pluto in 1930, the number that belongs to recognized planets increased to nine. However, inside of 2006, the International Astronomical Union adopted an existing new definition that belongs to a current planet that specifically excluded Pluto. According to this definition, an existing planet must meet three criteria. It must orbit the Sun, it must exist as a spherical inside of the shape, as well as it must clear its orbit, meaning that it must exist as a dominant object inside of its orbit as well as not exist as an accompanied by other things. Pluto does not meet this last criterion because it shares its orbit with other objects inside the Kuiper Belt. This existing region belongs to small, icy bodies beyond the orbit that belongs to Neptune. Overall, there happens to be an existing number that belongs to scientific as well as technical reasons why Pluto happens to be no longer considered a current planet. These reasons include its small size, different composition, lack that belongs to mass to clear its orbit, thin atmosphere, and lack that belongs to geological activity, as well as the fact that its classification during the same time that an existing planet happened to be based on top of historical precedent rather than scientific criteria. While Pluto happens to be still an existing interesting as well as important object inside of the solar system, it happens to be now classified during the same time that an existing dwarf planet rather than an existing full-fledged planet. That's all time we have for today's video. Like this video if you found it helpful and don't forget to press the bell icon so you won't miss any updates.